Well, this next song um, was the first single from an album called Tango in the Night. And uh, although it's not the oldest song, I'm willing to bet it was written before you were born. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, anyway, this album, Tango in the Night, was, was kind of a, uh, a point of departure for me in the sense that I think we all, as a band, have been living our lives in the manner that we thought was expected of us as musicians, as rock and rollers. And we thought there were certain things that we needed to do and certain ways we needed to live our life in order to be creative. And the whole subculture was doing that. But one by one, I think we began to realize that it was not really the way to go. And so the making of Tango in the Night, which was quite difficult, and we did it at, up in my house. I produced it. I was proud of what was done, but it was done, shall I say, under duress. <clears throat> And so when the album was completed, I decided it was time for me to take a little break and I did not tour the album. I left the band for a while and made a few changes in my own life. And you know, it, when you look at the lyric of the song, it did describe the person that I was then. Someone who was very well defended, someone who had very strict emotional boundaries around them. Uh, and I, I think happily with the passage of time, that description really is just an echo. So where the song may have begun as a kind of contemplation on perhaps alienation, I think for me now it's become more a meditation on the power and the importance of change. Yeah. 